Hey, Spencer. Um, obviously, huge difference from from the last start to this start. What was it that you you were really emphasizing going into this start? Was it your composure because you had some tough innings there and you and you got out of every jam, or did your stuff just you were just better command? I think it was a combination of both. Um, after my start uh, in Chicago, there's a couple things mentally that I know I was just not doing well, and I worked on that a little bit. Um, I think guys, when I've been letting guys get on base, I started trying to do way too much. Um, like my delivery started quickening up, trying to worry about runners and stuff, and just cause some bad habits to creep in. Um, so this week I focused a lot more on just slowing everything down mechanically, um, not trying to throw so hard, basically. Um, just kind of like less is more. It seemed to kind of get my delivery back in, kind of back to where I wanted it to be. It looked like too you, you, your uh, command on both the four seam and two seam were spot on today, and you used that a lot more. I, mean, th- I think it was 13 sliders only that you threw. You, should have, you, you just kept raising the eye levels and lowering the eye levels, mostly. Yeah, I mean, I think I had to show them that I could throw strikes. I think the last couple of weeks I've struggled. Um, I'm still not getting a lot of swings on my slider, which is a little frustrating, but probably just because I'm not throwing it for strikes enough. I think I, I just need to show up. Uh, I can command it in the zone and out of the zone before I start trying to use it as a chase pitch all the time. Um, like I said, I, I still felt like I threw some good ones. I just, like I said, they weren't chasing it, so I just stayed with the fastball because I, I felt like I was having a good amount of success just, you know, switching four seamer and two seamer up. Um, threw a couple good change ups, and that was pretty much it. There was one slider you threw to buy as it. Somehow he got a little piece of it, followed well, it off. That's like what that. I'm saying. Like, I felt like I was throwing some good ones. Uh, he, so they spoiled a couple, and I remember Hayward took one right before he hit the the triple. Um, I thought it was a good one. I was like, I, I was like, I can't believe he didn't even check swing on that or anything. But uh, but it was kind of the same thing last week in Chicago. Like I said, I, threw, I felt like I threw good sliders and they were just spitting on them like like they saw them really easily. And I was so I don't know. Like I said, it may just be easier for guys to pick it up right now. But uh, something I'm working on. Um, but for sure, I need to you know be able to command it in the zone. Um, I think the more I show that I can command it in and out, I'll start getting swings again. Sure. Thank you, Spence. Thanks, Chris. Our next question comes from Trevor Thompson from Fox Sports Detroit. Hey, nice night, Spencer, and congratulations. And I just wanted to uh, ask you the same question I asked Jonathan. Uh, you guys have gone through a tough stretch of about a dozen games, and now you're in a position to win your second straight series. And we don't get a chance to get in there and get a feel for what's going on in the clubhouse. So what's your sense after everything you've gone through as a team, uh, where you're at right now uh, with this opportunity coming up tomorrow, what the, what the mood's like in the room? Thanks. Uh, I feel like the mood is, is back in a good place. Like I said, we, I think we were all struggling there for a few days. Um, like I said, it's, it's hard to lose however many games in a row that was, like nine or whatever it was. It's just it's hard to stay positive uh, when you go through stretches like that. But I, I felt like we did a good job just continuing to show up every day and give it everything we have. And uh, I'm starting to turn it back around. And I feel like, it, like I said, the mood is definitely back in um, kind of where it was earlier in the year, which is it's good to feel. Thanks, Trevor. Our next question comes from Jason Beck from MLB.com. Yeah, hey, Spencer. You look pretty frustrated with yourself after the uh, walks in the fifth inning and then with Rizzo coming up. Um, how did you calm yourself down, or, or how did you channel that adrenaline to uh, to face you know, one of the most dangerous bats in that lineup? Uh, like I said, I think going back to what's got me in trouble the last couple of weeks was when I get runners on or – I'll start walking a couple guys and then get really frustrated with myself and start trying to do way too much and start trying to throw just a bunch of unhittable pitches instead of just staying within myself and staying calm and trusting my stuff. Um, and I feel like I did a better job of kind of honing that in tonight. Like I said, I got in trouble a couple times, but was able to kind of you know relax a little bit and make some better pitches. Like I said, I still walked a few guys. Um, I'd like to see that cleaned up even more, but it was definitely better tonight. And like I said, the walks didn't really come until I started to get a little, little fatigued towards the end. It, it still looked like your fastball ticked up a, a you know, tick or two uh, when you got into big situations. I know we saw, I think, 97, 98 against Baez there in the third. Is that a little case of even when you, you know, try not to do too much, maybe less is more? For sure. I, th- I think less is more is kind of like going to be my mantra for the rest of my life because as soon as I st- – slow down and just stay within my delivery and don't and don't try to muscle up on everything like i said i'm able to just stay closed longer uh, my arm quickens up 
and the ball comes out better. Like I said, it's easier, so it's not as taxing on the body. And I hit 98 for the like, first time in like four years, so that was cool to see. Um, but like I said, it, it felt way easier. Like I said, I was throwing harder tonight, but I wasn't trying to throw harder because I think I was just staying uh, within my delivery and not you know flying open or opening my hips too early or pulling my left shoulder open or whatever that causes me to have all the high rights and the, the lack of fastball command. Cause that's what gets me in so much trouble is when I lose my fastball command, um, it's just really hard to even, you know, trust my stuff because, like, it's not like I'm trying to wall guys, but when I start misfiring, you know, high rights and yanks, and it's, just, it's hard to get locked back in, especially when you're kind of just searching mechanically. Um, but I think the biggest keys for me is just kind of slowing things down. Less is more, you know, just staying within myself. And the ball seems to come out a lot better when I do that. Um, Gargi said that you tried to talk your way into one more hitter there when you came to get to. Is that just you're feeling good and feeling like you could you could get Caratini there or just trying to finish out on, you know, finishing the inning on a good note? Yeah, I mean, I, I for sure wanted to finish the inning. Like I said, I, I'm not going to argue with him for too long. Like I said, it's, it's his decision to make. Um, and Brian did a phenomenal job getting getting that guy out. Um but yeah, obviously I wanted that hitter. Like I said, I felt like you know, I, had, I had more than enough left to get one more hitter. I felt like, and I don't think there's much of a difference between 97 pitches and a 102 pitches. But like I said, it's that's the manager's call, and I, I trust him to make that decision. Obviously, it worked out. Was it maybe maybe I wouldn't have gotten him out? I don't know. But I definitely, me as a competitor, I wanted to have the opportunity for one more guy. I know you've said in the past that wins don't really mean a whole lot. Is it still of any significance that you matched? last year's win total with just, you know, a little less than halfway through a shortened season? I mean, I only had three last year, so I would hope I'll be able to get there this year. Um, but, yeah, like I said, it's, it's not a stat that I'm overly concerned with. Obviously, I like winning, so the more wins, the better. Um, but, again, it, I think, like I said, there's a lot more stats that I feel like show whether a pitcher's doing his job or not more than just the win column. But if you get wins, you're definitely doing something right. So it's nice to see. Thanks, Spencer. Thanks, Jason. Our next question comes from Evan Petzold of the Detroit Free Press. Hey, Spencer. It seems like you uh, you picked up quite a couple of, of things from you know from this game and from your performance today. I, I guess what does it really mean for you um, in a sixty game season, right? I mean, is this a, is this something that you think you really needed was to have a bounce back like this, just because of the fact that the season is so much shorter than uh, than it normally is? Uh, I mean, that's kind of a tough question, but. Obviously, I wanted to bounce back. I mean, no one wants to get pulled after the second inning of a start. Uh, that was pretty, pretty embarrassing for me. It was like just nowhere close to what I expected myself or what my team needs from me. Um, so it's just frustrating when I'm not able to get the job done, like not even close to what I should be doing or you know whatever expectations I have of myself. Um, but again, that happens. It's baseball. Like I said, you're not going, not always going to have a good day. Um, but I definitely didn't want to have too many of those in a row. So it, was, it was nice to get kind of back on what feels like being back on track, kind of more more my game, more what I expected myself.